Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Tobin here, Reed and Easton from the 5M Family Homestead channel. Today, we're going to make a DIY pig feeder. Uh, we started uh, feeding our pig a little different, and uh, we want to make a feeder that will work with how we're feeding her. Uh, we'll, we'll go into details on that once we get the feeder done and we try it out. Uh, this is going to be a temporary feeder. We, um, We've only got this pig for another month and a half or so. We're hoping we're going to build it out of wood and we're hoping it'll last at least that long and then we'll probably build something more permanent. So, um, but first we got a couple other chores to do, things to get done around uh, the homestead. So we hope y'all come with us and, and help us and then we'll uh, get that uh, feeder built and take it down there and we'll give you a little update on the pig. So, Easton, you got anything to say? So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell and comment down below if you have any ideas for like chicken figures or anything comment down below and y'all can tell us we're doing like dogs so guys one of the things uh that in the, our family that's very important and something we do every year is uh hunting uh and hunting season's getting closer every day uh, so one thing that we need to do is we need to change the oil in our full wither. Uh, we use it at our deer lease quite a bit. Uh, we actually have a video of when we bought it and surprised the kids. Uh, but it's due for its first oil change, a little overdue. And uh, so we need to get that done first before we get everything else going. So we're going to go down to the shed and get it out um, and bring it up here and change the oil in it real quick. Oil change we've done on it, and now it's a little dirty, so I think we ought to wash it. Yeah. All right, let's wash it. We got a package in the mail. This is actually our first mail call that we've ever gotten, or our first package we've ever gotten in the mail from another YouTuber. This package is from Simply Jan Homestead. If you guys don't subscribe to her or don't watch her channel, you're missing out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of her channel. I'll put an iCard up right now of her channel as well. Y'all go check her out. She's an awesome lady, always positive, always supporting other YouTubers in the homesteading community, and 
Y'all need to go check her out, go subscribe, tell her we sent you. Let's open this up and see what it is. Go. Look at that. Simply Jan Homestead. That's what Simply Jan says at the end of all her videos. Love well. It's awesome. So we got two of them. There's another one. So y'all look for uh, Shannon and I to be wearing these in our upcoming videos. And like I said, if y'all haven't already, y'all go check out Simply Jam. She's awesome. All right, guys, so let's make this feeder. Uh, the reason we're making a feeder is, is somebody that I work with who raises pigs recommended that we start, a, that we start slopping our pig's feed to make it eat better. Uh, we were feeding it corn, we've stopped, and he recommended going back to pellets. It has more protein so we can get weight on her quicker because we're under the gun now to get weight on her in the next month and a half. So, uh, we've been slopping her feed, and Reed's been feeding her probably more than anybody, and it's, how's it going? Uh, she's about two times bigger than she was like a month ago, which is uh, really good, because yes. we only have a month and a half until she go to the processor. Yes, so that part's going great. She's getting, she's gaining weight. We'll take y'all down there a little bit and show you, but how's the feeding part going? It's going really good. She's gaining a lot of weight yes. from it. Yes, but it's kind of gross and kind of yeah. kind of hard to do. So what we've been doing is we've been slopping their feed from, from the way I was described it is just adding water to their feed and they eat it better. I don't know why, but when you put a couple, uh, I guess probably quarts or cups of water in their feed, uh, in her feed, she attacks that feed. So we're trying to make it simpler. Right now we're mixing it like on a, on a little tub that goes on the ground and just sliding it under her pen and she's making a mess. And then the next day, we either have to go in, the, the, the little tub will be across the pen. We either got to fish it out with a stick or something, or go in there and try to get it out, and then going in there with her, now she's getting so big that she'll try to blow through the, the gate and get out. Uh, so we're gonna try to make a hanging feeder that hangs over the back, or over the side of her, uh, of her pen, so that we can hang it in there, like we can mix the feed in it, hang it over there, she can eat it, and then we can pull it right back out. That's the idea. So we bought this little tub, has a little lip on it, bought this at Home Depot, no, bought this at Tractor Supply. So we're going to try to engineer, mom's in the background on the camera throwing the foot trash away. Good job mom. So we're going to try to basically engineer this, we're going to put a piece underneath it. Piece going up on each side, and then at the top of these pieces, we're going to make a hook to hang it over the edge of the fence. Yeah. She might very well break it the first time that we try to feed her out of it. If that happens, yeah. I will laugh and it won't be a big deal. And just <laughs> ha 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 ha. No, I'm kidding. I'll be mad, but we'll make it work. So let's get into it. All right, guys, we had to come down here to the pig pen to make some measurements real quick. So I wanted to kind of show y'all a little bit more in depth of what we're talking about. So we have been feeding her in this little little tub right right there. What we do is we'll just bring it over here in my trailer, mix the water in it, put the feed in it, and then we'll slide it right up underneath the gate right here. Um, and it goes right up underneath there. It's just not but, that practical. Yeah, it's not practical. Very good word, not practical. So uh, what we're gonna try to do is make that feeder where it hangs over the edge of this gate right here and where the, the actual tub part of it is down there close to the ground where the pig can eat out of it. But then once she's done, it'll keep hanging here. And then we come back, we'll just pick it up and bring it out, fill it up. It'll be a little, lot more, uh, like Reed said, practical. So, um, but while we're down here, y'all see what the pig looks like. So, like I said, we've been slopping her feed now for about, how long, Reed? Two weeks? No, a week, one week exactly. And she is putting on a significant amount of weight from doing it. Look how big her neck is. Yep, her neck and her her stomach. And she thinks we're going to feed her right now. That's why she's acting that way. Somebody along the way giving me the advice of finishing her out on corn. So we did that where we thought we were doing that. And 
and she was drawed up and wasn't eating very much and uh the corn the guy i work with had mentioned the corn is just doesn't have as much protein in it so uh she's doing really good on this so and one thing that's kind of funny is the chickens now that we've been feeding her the pellets again they hang out down here waiting for a little bit of her food it'll spill out or whatever and they'll they'll get it they're down here so face so one of reed's favorite things down here reed loves spiders so gosh no <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. He oh my doesn't. gosh, has a baby one. Yeah, on I guess that's a baby. So this little spider has been hanging out here for. I think it's a month. Hey, yes, probably since we had the pig. I don't know. I should. She's being loud. I should know what those are called. Y'all leave them like, like a garden. Yeah, we call them garden spiders. I've, um, but uh, she hangs out down here all. The, I mean, she's been here the whole time. It looks like she's got. I guess it's a little baby. I don't know. But uh. Those are cool spiders, really cool. So y'all, y'all tell us what kind it is, the, the exact name. And as you can tell by how way she sounds, she is ready to eat. Reed's got the uh, feed mixed up. We've got the feeder completely done. So we have a two by four here at the top, two by twos here. We have a two by two in the back with a lip on it, right here. And then we have the little trough attached to another two by four at the bottom. She's getting a little anxious. Uh, she has never acted this way before until we started slopping her feed. And now she, she flips out every time it's time to eat. So another thing we did was we cut the top layer of this fence off right here so that when we hang it over, it'll be lower. When we made it, it was a little bit too high. So she's ready to eat. Let's see what happens. All right, reason gonna pour it in there. Pour it slow. Hopefully it all fit. All right, guys. Take three. 17. I don't know. You had to manipulate the fence here a little bit because she was standing on it when it was up in the air. So get back. Let's see what this does. There we go. She's eating without going to break in. Guys, after a few modifications, uh, we got it going. We ended up lowering, cut about one, two, three pieces out of that fence right there. 
so it would be low enough to be on the ground because she was stepping on it and it was going to break it off for sure. And then the other uh, issue we had was her, when we knew this was going to happen, me and Reed were talking about when we were building it, um, that she was going to push it up, like push it up right here and make it come off the fence and fall. So what we did was, I don't even know what this goes to, it's a stake from something. Uh, but we drilled a hole going downhill through and it came out right here and I don't know if you can see but yeah you can't tell but now that goes underneath that top piece of the fence and she can't push it up out of there so guys we we realize this is uh we use a lot of our southern ingenuity building this um Reed and I both have a lot of southern ingenuity in our blood from uh, my grandparents on both sides. I didn't really do a how-to video because we really didn't know what we were doing. We just kind of built it as we went. But we're just trying to solve a little problem that we had as far as just the pig getting, uh, it becoming an issue feeding the pig with us slopping her feed and uh, being able to dig the, the feed trough out of there and all that stuff. So time will tell. We'll give you all an update soon, but hopefully it'll hold. What do you think, Reed? Uh... I think there's a good chance that it's going to hold unless one night she gets bored and she starts playing with it and yeah. playing with the bucket. She's totally strong enough for doing it, but we really hope she does not. Yeah, we're going to try to remember, you know, in the evenings we come out here, we'll probably feed her and go back in the house, but we'll try to remember to pull that out of there when we're not using it, just uh, less chance of her breaking it. So. Right. Guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. We're finished up for the day. We got a little mess here to clean up. Uh, Reed's talking about running down the road and doing some fishing in the creek. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please do us a big favor and subscribe. Um, we were looking at the numbers for our channel here recently and it looks like about 80% of the people that watch our videos don't subscribe. And uh, it really helps us out if you subscribe and it doesn't cost you anything. And then uh, you know later on down the road, if you decide you don't like us, you can just unsubscribe. It's just that easy, so it just helps our channel. So. Uh, let's take them out, Reed. I, I don't know what to say. I never do it. Uh, uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and we'll see y'all. Tell us how helpful this video really was. Yep. We just, just did it as we gone, and yeah. it, uh, yep. it, it worked. So. We just figured it out as we went. So. Yeah. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all again.